I'm going to go through making a low poly, low polygon animation of a dog. And this particular dog is going to be a Labrador. So let's go ahead and get started. And the files I use for this will be attached in the description below. Okay, so here we are, right? The starts area, and I'm going to click on this X. And once I do so, but uh, awesome. Now I'm going to click add. And then I need to go down to image and background, because that's what we want to set a background image. And mine I actually store it in down bin or my downloads folder. And it is lab side. So we need to do the side of the animal first. Okay, so I'm going to click load background. Great. Now let me zoom in here. Zoop. And here's my lab. I'm going to click off of it. And I need to get rid of this box. Okay. And now that I've done so, I'm going to do add mesh and I need a plane. Boop. We can turn it if we want like this, but I'll probably just use the numbers. Boop. See how that works? Let's go ahead and go over here. And 90 is what I'm going to want. And I know I'm going to need to scale this down to be roughly dog size. This is just going to be a piece of the dog's center. All right, let's go ahead and go into edit mode. And I'm going to keep this one pretty basic just to make our first animation, low poly animation easier. Okay, so what I need to do, though, is I'm going to be grabbing these points and kind of molding it to the dog's body. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and I might want to zoom in some. Grab this guy. Zoop. Maybe something like that. This guy. Great. And now I'm going to get my select tool and select both these points. Edge, extrude edge. I'm probably going to go all the way back to the leg. Again, this is just going to be a super simple version of this to give you an idea of how it works. But it will still look good. Right about there. And yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to go here and grab these two again. And edge, extrude. Okay, and this one's going to be for the leg. I'm going to pull it all the way back here. And then we'll make it fit. And since it's for the leg, I do want to keep coverage of the entire leg. So this will be good. So now I'm going to go zoop, and one more, I think, and we'll be fine. There we are. So that's this part of the body. And now I'm going to go back to my select tool and edge, extrude edge. I'm just going to do a big chunk here. Okay. And I might want to line these up a bit more. So I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to grab this guy and go. Great. And let's get my selector. Got both my points. And again, this one, since it's going over the leg, will be the leg. So I'm going to go all the way over this leg area and stop there. And let's get these points here and kind of adjust. Something like this. Okay. And then we're going to keep going. We're not going to go all the way to the head, but we can get most of the neck. Whoops. There we go. Let's see how this works. You can always scale it back if it's too much. Nope, I think that will be all right, especially since we're just kind of testing things out here. So let me 
do one more hmm, for this area edge and go all the way up i'm going to cover the years even we just whoa not sure what happened here i'm going to click we're going to do edit and do that edge extrude I'm going to click it down and now i'm just going to do up to the base of the skullish right about there and right about there great so now we have this whole body ready to rock what our next step is going to be then and i'm going to move this to kind of look i'm going to pull this back all right so we need to go into service or face select right so we're going to use our face select i'm going to select and all and once we do this we're going to go oop, face right face extrude faces Zoop. And I'm going to go maybe 0 0.4. Yeah, that looks good. Click. Okay. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go edit object mode. And then I'm going to click on this. Whoops. Let's click off our objects and click back on it. Because you want to make sure to have it selected. And then object. And we need to apply. And this is just going to reset the location, the rotation, and the scale to be standard because we're about to use mirror. And so that's critically important that we do that. So again, I did object, apply, location, rotation, scale, location, rotation, and scale. I did all three of those. All right, now that I've done that, I'm gonna head over here and add a modifier. The modifier we are gonna use, as I said, is mirror. Click, and if you do it right, it will pop up like that. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click off and now go to object and edit mode again. Make sure you are in face select, right? Okay. Because what we're going to do is I'm going to go to loop cut and click it. And I need one right here. So right here. Perfect. Boom. And what I'm going to do is I need to see, okay, let's click on X. And so this is going to be the front leg, right? Right here. So let's see. Ah, right there. Okay. So that's the area that's going to be the leg. Let's go back to this view. And what we're going to do is edge, extrude, ed extrude edge, and boom. We have the start of the leg. What I would do for this part is go to vertex shading. Because you want to make sure that when you're expanding it, you're getting all the vertices. Right? So I'm now going to click here. Let's move this over some. Oh, and see, I just did it there. And now you'll move both flows. Okay. So whenever you want to move something, you need to use the selection tool. Like this. And now I'm going to use the selection tool. And edge, extrude edge again. All right, and I'm just going to keep going. So let's use the select tool, select both of these, edge, extrude edge. I can go almost all the way. Click, select tool. And again, we're not going to make this exact. This is a quick tutorial, just so you can get the hang of this. And we'll call that good. So we don't need perfect. It is a low poly figure anyways. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select this, but you got to be careful because how you do this 
you could select multiple sides of this. So we're gonna move this. I'm gonna go into face select mode. And then, so again, once you've gone into face select mode and you click on the face, right? Nope. Let's make sure I got it. Yeah, that face. You're gonna click on X and then you're gonna go to edge, extrude edge. And that way you know it's the correct edge. Okay. Perfect. So at this point, I'm gonna click on vertices. Gonna click off. So select none, need to be on that, and then zoop. And then just keep going with it. Oh, got to get those. Didn't mean to click down there. All right. Let's use that again. And again, you're going to keep using this to make sure you have selected all of the actual points while you're manipulating your figure. This might be our final one. Right here, maybe. I'm going to click off. Something like this. Great. Let's click on X and I'm going to zoom out. Okay. And there might be a little bit of finagling you want to do here. So I'm going to actually kind of move this point down a bit just to get it more aligned with what the neck would be. Sure. All right. All right, now that we have the majority of the animal together, I'm going to go ahead and move it like this. I'm going to zoom out. So we want to create, I'm going to go to solid mode, and we want to create some roundness, right? A dog wouldn't be solid like this, uh, wouldn't be flat like this. So we're going to use the loop cut again, and I'm going to go ahead and do this, right? And then... I'm going to go back to my selector and actually let's go ahead and move. See what this is like. And be careful of this right here. Okay. You don't want that edit undo. What you want to do though, to prevent this is we're going to go to modifiers. Oh, perfect. We are already there. And so what we need to do is clipping. We want to prevent it from clipping. And so that will prevent it from separating out. So now we can give the dog a bit more of a rounded, well, a rounded polygon figure. So for me, yeah, sure. Zero, I could do 0 0.1 maybe. And that is looking good. So I'm going to click off. All right. That is looking good. So I'm going to click on X and let's start working on the tail and the... Oh yeah. Let's start working on the tail. So I'm going to do box select. I'm going to highlight these two points at the very end and then edge and extrude edge. And let's just check to make sure. And see, this is not what we want. So edit, undo. Okay. I'm going to go back to solid. What we want for the tail Let's check. We want the tail to come from this section. So let's go to plane view, plane mode here and rotate. So if it's going to come from that section, where do we want the tail from? Right about here. So I'm going to actually go to vertice. And what I'm going to do is grab this one just so we can make the tail a bit smaller and push in and then this one and push it in maybe a bit more 
There we go. So let's go back to plane. Click. X. Edge. Extrude. Something like this. I'm going to go vertice mode. See through mode. I got them both. Right, like this. And then edge and extrude. Something like that. And now let's edit it some. To get it closer to what the dog actually is. Yep, like here. And let's see how this looks. I am liking that. And if we want solid, I'm going to zoom out some. We can still shrink down the tail area. Kind of big, but that is great. All right, X, and I'm going to zoom out. And now the face. Okay, for the face. So for the face, similar to what we have been doing, I'm going to go ahead and move this. And I'm going to go into face mode to make sure I select what is needed. Okay, so I need all of this. And now that I have all of that, I'm going to go back and do edge, extrude edges, because I know I'm extending the full amount of material. I'm going to click edge, extrude edges again. I'm going to click edge, extrude edges again, something like that, and edge, extrude edges to do the nose. All right, and now I've done so, I have all of this. I'm going to go back and start changing up the vertex. Okay, so I'm going to click on vertex mode, and this one. That is better. And make sure you're using the select tool again, because otherwise you will not select all of the points that you need to. So I'm going to keep checking. That looks good. And I'm going to actually animate the mouth to be closed, so we're not going to really need to worry about that. And something like this. Let's go ahead and make it full and zoom out. Looks great. And you can kind of see who our dog is taking shape in a way. Okay. And we're probably going to have to decrease some of this and some of that, but we'll get there. So now we want to make sure the dog's snout is all filled in. So I'm going to select all of the snout. Okay. And I'm going to do vertex, new edge face from vertices. And let's do the same for the tail. Vertex. Let's make sure. Yep. Oh, we missed it here. We're going to do them separate. Vertex. Let's use the top overview then.
And I'm just going to use shift at this point. Good. You just want to select all of these guys. And we can get this filled in. I'm holding shift still. And there we are. And now we would want to start making changes because, well, this does not look like a dog. And we might, mm, we might want to actually decrease the thickness of the dog. And I'm thinking we do. So let's actually, we're going to go select none, edit object mode. And if you like how large the dog is, by all means. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's what we got. Yep, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click. And then let's go to size. And the X scale is what we want. Let's see here. What if we do for X, 0.7. And maybe even 0 0.6. Yep, that looks good to me. You can mess with it further if you would like. I'm going to go back to edit mode and keep working on my dog. So we're just working on making it look more like a puppy or a dog. So now let's go ahead. I'm going to use select and let's try pushing this part in. And this is really going to be trial by error. So when you think something looks good, move on. Or it looks bad, keep playing with it. Okay. I'm not going to go through every tiny shape of how to make the dog more like a dog. But just make sure you give the head a good shape that you think that represents the pooch well. Right? So you can kind of get an idea from it there. I use a straight on photo for a reference also. Now for ears, you could add a side shape right here to hang off. We could use an extrude tool to do that, which is what I will actually do this time. And since it's a low poly figure, I'm going to grab, I'm going to just click on one of these, right? And if you're not sure, you can look. Okay, so the ears are actually more right here. And let's zoom in. So they're kind of in between mine. I'm going to place an ear here. And I'm going to hold down shift. And I could either do it here or here. Actually, I'll push this up some. And that way I can use it for an ear. Whoops, I'm going to do edit, undo. I'm going to use my select tool. There we are. And now it would make more sense as an ear. And so now I'm going to go into full solid mode face and let's take a look. Okay, so where do I want my ear to come from? I'm actually just going to have this jut out for an ear. So I'm going to go back to X. Okay. Oops, edge, extrude edges. And that's going to make this whole thing jut out, which we don't really want. So I'm going to click down, edit, undo. And instead, I'm going to go into edge mode. I'm going to click on this top area here. Let's see what this is. So if you want an ear, you can use a plane. 
something like that, which does make sense for a polygon figure. Okay. All right, I'm going to zoom out. And then the final thing for this, as you, of course, you're going to want to edit yours and kind of change up the shape, but is I'm going to go to object mode. I'm going to kind of switch it around to look at it all. Okay, cute little ears. <laughs> and then I'm going to click and then material. And you want to pick a color. So I'm partial to chocolate labs or to yellow labs. I'm going to use hex. And I think, let's see, what color is this? That would be a very yellow lab. All right. And maybe you want more of a glossy finish on your lab, right? More of a shining coat. And the hexadecimal for that is not going to be actually yellow. The hexadecimal for a bond that I liked was something like D5C0A7. Let's give that more of a shot. That is looking good. 0 0.02 maybe. And let's go to, oops, material mode. And that is going to be our pup. And we can go ahead and we could add a shape for the nose and kind of give definition to the eyes. But you can see how we can quickly get a hexadecimal figure of an animal. So if you're watching, if you've done something really cool, you should make sure to post it below. Um, and if you're still watching, if this was helpful, you should definitely hit like, hit subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies, gives labs great fuzzies as well, and I appreciate it. So, ta-da!